It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to talk about approximating a square root. We're going to determine whether it lies between two integers, 6 and 7, or the two integers, 7 and 8. Here's our question today. We're asked to consider this expression, the square root of 57. Then we're asked to select from the drop-down menus to correctly complete the statements about the expression. First, on a number line, the expression is located between, choose 6 and 7, or between 7 and 8. The second statement, the approximate value of the expression is closest to 6, 7, or 8. So here's where you pause the video, you determine the two statements that are correct about the square root of 57, you're going to complete them using these menus. Then come back and hit play to see the solution. Good luck. Welcome back. So we're talking about the square root of 57, and the first statement we're going to complete is we want to know if the square root of 57 is located between 6 and 7 or 7 and 8. So to visually show this, I'm going to create a number line with the value 6, 7, and 8 on it. And we're going to change this into a number line. Instead of using the integers 6, 7, and 8, we're going to consider the square roots. So the square root of 36 is 6. The square root of 49 is 7, and the square root of 64 is 8. So 6 squared is 36, the square root of 36 is 6. Now we want to place the square root of 57 on this number line to complete the statement. So we can see that the square root of 57 is going to lie between the square root of 49 and the square root of 64 telling us that the square root of 57 is between the two integer values 7 and 8, giving us 7 and 8 as a solution. So on a number line, the expression is located between 7 and 8. Now the second statement, the approximate value of the expression is closest to 6, 7, or 8. So we know that we can eliminate 6 as an answer choice seeing as we know that it's greater than the square root of 49 and less than the square root of 64. So we can already see that it's going to be 7 or 8. Let's consider how far away the square root of 57 is from the square root of 49. So we know that to go from the square root of 49 to the square root of 57, we have 8 square roots, square root of 50, square root of 51, and so on and so forth. So it's 8 square roots away square root of 57, square root of 58, going to the square root of 64 would be 7. So we can see that the square root of 57 is just a little bit closer to 8 than it is to 7, so we're going to choose 8 as our answer choice here. And that is how you approximate a square root on a number line between two integers and how to determine which one it is closest to. And that is the magic of math, where we master math one video at a time. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope you come back soon.